Flight Academy. Uh, I'm flying here. I have the great honor of flying here with uh, Dave, call sign Bags, uh, who uh, retired as captain in the Marines. Uh, and uh, why don't you go through some of the list of the airplanes that you've flown over the years? Uh, let's see, you started with the T-34, uh, the Mentor, the T-2 uh, Buckeye, which is the first jet we flew, uh -huh. then to the uh, F-9F Cougar. Uh, what years are we talking about? Uh, this so is 1967. Okay. 66, 67. Okay. I wasn't even born yet, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go yeah, on. So the F-9F Cougar, uh, uh, then uh, assigned to the A-6 Intruder. Uh -huh. Flew in Vietnam, 178 missions, then came uh -huh. back and uh, flew general aviation with everything from uh, Cetabria, Decathlon, Piper Aztec, uh, Piper Lance, all the Piper series, okay. the 310 series, 340 series, okay, Cessna, all that stuff. Had a little uh, aerobatic flight school for a while. Uh, flew DC-3s in Alaska for cargo, uh, the Haviland Beaver on floats. Uh, 500 hours up in Quebec. All right, beautiful. Oh, had a good time. Yeah. Uh, and quit about age 45 and got into computers for 20 years. Okay. Because uh, I didn't know anything about your background. I said, we're going to fly angle of attack. And, and you said something that uh, just got me going wrong. What was that? Well, basically, angle of attack is the best invention uh, since uh, bread. Uh, we used it in the military uh, extensively for every landing. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, your fuel state and ad adjust for your weight and adjust for weight. Right. So why should GA pilots who don't have your experience learn how to fly angle of attack and use an angle of attack indicator? And, and what's, why has the industry, the GA end of the industry, uh, in your opinion, not embraced it? And by the way, let's do a little bit right about 20 degrees here. Uh, crazy. Because it simplifies the, uh, the approach, it makes it much safer. Uh-huh. Uh, and, uh, you know, the thing works. And if right. it works to get you on an aircraft carrier, you would think it would work right. to get right. you on a 5,000 foot runway. And so many GA pilots either poo-poo the idea of an angle attack. They say it's a waste of money and they should go get, uh, you know, aerobatic training or staff training instead of investing in an AOA. And yet you taught aerobatics. Uh, what do you say to somebody who says that? I'd say do both. Get the aerobatic training and, and use the angle of attack. Right. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I would agree with that. Uh, you use sort of an angle of attack, but that would be a recovery from unusual attitudes right. or uh, an incipient spin. You went to zero G. A plane zero G cannot stall. Right. Okay, right. so your nose up, you know, and just push it over. Right. A zero G and you're going to recover. Right. Uh, and by the way, and, and a lot of people don't understand that. And in this video, I'm going to put up a, a little uh, a slide here. Uh, when you look at the lift equation, lift equals one half rho v squared SCL. Uh, lift has to equal the mass of the aircraft times gravity. Well, if, the, if mass of the aircraft times zero gravity, it's a zero. You don't need any lift on the airplane. That's how you're going to get yourself out of trouble, right? Right. Okay. Right. So I think that's an important concept for guys to, to understand. And uh, so if, if there was one takeaway that, you know, the, the thousands of pilots, thousands of aircraft owners, especially every riddle, and a lot of the large flight calls are now installing angle attack indicators in the entire fleet, whether it's Cessna or Cirrus or anything else. We're seeing uh, new Cirruses uh, have uh, electronic uh, angle attack indicators in the primary flight display, the Pilatus, and all of these other uh, uh, nice aircraft. So it seems like the industry is starting to adopt it. We've seen accident rates uh, shrink down. We've had our best uh, year on record yet. What happens if we start banking the airplane? And you're flying at a published speed, right? Right. If you're banking the airplane and maintaining uh, the, uh, the altitude, yeah. that's going to take G right. to do that. Now right. your stall speed goes up. Right. And that's where the angle attack would give you an early warning. Precisely. And that yeah. happens when face to final or on the uh, on the uh, boarded uh, or uh, go around. Uh, those are areas where we would see extreme uh, bank angles and so forth. So it's a good tip, and it's not a very big investment. Right? I mean, it uh, seemed like compared to the other yeah, avionics. Sure, so. exactly. So, and it can be a lifesaver to most people. I like to say that it's the most important instrument under 500 feet. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Okay, very good. Uh, so there you have it. it it's it's uh, proven. Uh, it's been around since I was before I was born, and yet guys are just learning about it now on the GA side, and the military lives and dies by AOA, and, and uh, it's about time we start learning. Absolutely. So, all right, terrific. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Aloha from Maui Flight Academy.